You're watching Up to Speed on Cardinal Television at St. John Fisher College. Hello everyone and welcome back to Up to Speed, a show that brings you up to speed on some of the big stories within the sports world this week. I'm your host, James DC, and let's get right into the show. Hall of Famer Frank Thomas is now backing Roger Clemens and Barry Bonds as they miss the cut this year for the Hall of Fame, even with a majority vote. He states, they should be in as far as I'm concerned. They've let a few people in already that we all know have taken PEDs. The Big Hurt has been a longtime critic of PED usage. One of his former teammates, Tim Raines, was let in this year, and Thomas was not too happy. Again, it will be an interesting sight to see what happens for the ballot next year within the Hall of Fame. The Pro Bowl took place in Orlando this weekend as the best names in football went head-to-head -head in their respective conferences. The AFC getting the nod with a 20-13 victory, which is not all that surprising. I, who doesn't really watch the Pro Bowl, was intrigued at some of the highlights from it. Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey had a big performance along with Bills linebacker Lorenzo Alexander. So we're now on to the Super Bowl. Could Yasiel Puig be on the move? One of the Los Angeles Dodgers superstars has been brought up on several trade rumors around the league. But Puig has this to say. I'm not surprised I'm here. I want to play baseball here. Obviously meaning with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Looks like Puig has put an end to all the rumors and will report to spring training for the LA Dodgers in Arizona in less than three weeks. It would have been an interesting sight to see and a huge loss if the Dodgers ended up trading Puig. LeBron James just seems to make so much news as we have yet another segment on him. James is now the first player in Cavaliers history to score over 20,000 points. Coming into Sunday's game against the Thunder, he just needed to score six, and obviously he did reach that mark. James has a total of 27,913 points in his career with the Cavs and the Miami Heat. Honestly, James is one of the best forwards to ever play the game, and his stats just prove it simple. New York Knicks star Carmelo Anthony has been headline news over this past week. If you missed it, Phil Jackson publicly stated that both Melo and Jackson had a conversation about his future in a Knicks uniform. Trade rumors have escalated since that conversation, and Carmelo had this to say. It can be mentally draining, mentally fatiguing. So far, the Clippers and Cavaliers have been pursuing Anthony. This actually might give Anthony a chance at winning a ring. Let's see where he actually ends up, though. A big headline coming out of Baylor this week as a lawsuit has been filed against their football team for fostering a culture in which alcohol and illegal drugs were provided to their recruits. Also, the coaches encouraged female students to have sex with the recruits as well. Baylor has seen 52 reports of sexual and physical attacks involving 31 players from 2011 to fall 2016. Former football coach Art Bryles has been fired, athletic director Ian McCaw was sanctioned and resigned, and president Ken Starr has left the program. Things like this should not happen ever. Hopefully the right people are punished and fined for even letting this happen. Michael Waltrip has announced that the Daytona 500 next month will be his final NASCAR race in his career. Waltrip, age 53, has had four NASCAR Cup victories, including two at Daytona. He's obviously looking to go out with a bang. Waltrip has 783 career starts. What a tremendous career for one of NASCAR's respected drivers. This has been another episode of Up to Speed. Make sure to tune in this Thursday for more stories within the sports world that you might have missed. I am your host, James DC. Catch you next time.